Hey there everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ladder Up, where today we are still using the Gardevoir team and we are at a nice 14 and 5, 16, 42. What music do I want? I don't even know. So, played a lot with the Salamence Sylveon team and just recently started playing with this Mega Gardevoir. And I don't have the most experience with Mega Gardevoir, but I will say I like Sylveon and... Sylveon and Mega Gardevoir are very similar. You know, there's Hyper Voice. A lot of people run Psy Shock on Sylveon. Uh, I'm running Psychic on Mega Gardevoir. Psy Shock is an option. Might actually be better, really. But I'm not using it. I'm using Psychic for whatever reason. So, going to go ahead and hopefully get into this. The good thing about this team is... Ooh. Ooh. As we got... Uh... Tamami. I think that is. Uh... With a... Ooh. Oh. Don't know what's going on here. So we've got all kinds of steel types. All kinds of things that Mega Gardevoir does not like. So the Porygon 2, um, Trick Room is kind of annoying. Not really because we have Amoongus. If we can give her a Talonflame, then Amoongus does pretty good. Uh, Talonflame and Metagross are bad for Amoongus. Both of those are bad for Gardevoir. Bisharp's not great. Infernape's okay. Infernape Zapdos might be the way to go, actually. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, Infernape uh, Landorus might be the way to go. So that'd be the one time I bring Landorus. Uh, Gardevoir looks pretty good. Amoongus also looks pretty good. I think this is it. I really don't know, but I think this is it. Just because uh, if, he wants to set, if he wants to set up Trick Room, I can't really stop him. And I need... Every opportunity I can get right now to shut down this Talonflame. Now the thing about Metagross is that it, it it can survive an Earthquake, but I don't know if it'll survive a Life Orb uh, Earth Power from this special Landorus that I'm running. So that I don't know. I don't. I mean, a Rock Slide from any kind of Landorus is going to take out a Talonflame, unless they're like Charty Berry and super bulky. But I don't see that happening. What I do see happening is us getting wrecked. The thing is, Blastoise gets fake out, so we have to, if he leads like Blastoise, Porygon, I gotta assume he's he's going for Trick Room, like fake out Trick Room or something, or protect Trick Room. Personally, I think uh, fake out's a better option. That's Talonflame and Blastoise. Okay. Ooh, ooh, hoo, hoo. Not a good lead for us. Thing is, do how how much do I value getting rid of this Talonflame? A lot. A lot, I do. He might be going for. He might be going for a fake or like a some kind of ice water move, whatever. He's gonna have to get through Rock Slide. I think this is this is risky, but I'm gonna go for it. Oh, he's got Quick Guard. Should have expected that. But if I I mean, there's still the flinch chance. Oh, it's Scarf Blastoise. It's Scarf Blastoise. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? It's Scarf Blastoise. What? That's, that's not real. Come on. Come on. Wow. Wow. We lose to that pretty hard. Holy crap. Okay, okay you, you got me. You, you got me. Um, not a whole lot I can do about that, really. Not a whole lot. I, I can't believe I just saw that. I mean, really, all he's got to do here is just... Um, Brave Bird into Gardevoir, and then Water Spout. That's all he, all he has to do into Gardevoir, yeah. Holy crap. That's so cool. That's so good. That's crazy. Who does that? That, oh my god, we're getting wrecked right now by this. This is fantastic. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? <laughs> I, once upon a time, a very long time ago, 
I ran Choice Scarf Blastoise, but it was in singles. It was not in doubles. Holy crap. Uh, you know, just for style points, we're gonna Rage Power. <laughs> I just got annihilated. Wow. Good on you, sir. Good on you. It, oof, oof. I couldn't have led any worse there. I really couldn't have. Because I can't touch it. Water Spout here, what am I going to do? E even if I knock out the Blastoise, he's just going to Brave Bird me the next turn. So there's, no there's nothing for me to do. So let's go ahead and... Uh, so, guys. New meta. Choice Scarf Blastoise. <laughs> and Talonflame with Quick Guard. You know, it's not bad. I mean, I was expecting... Um, like, Protect Tailwind, which kind of does the same thing, but a little bit better, because then you can switch moves. But Choice Scarf also also works. It also works. Yeah. Holy crap. If he had been... Um, uh, if, it, if he had gone Protect Tailwind, if it wasn't Choice Scarf, then, like, if it was Mega Blastoise, it would have been a much better position. But holy cow. Oh my god. Oh, well, I gotta do another one. I can't... I can't just do that. That's... I love getting wrecked by just weird nonsense. And, like, that honestly isn't even bad. It's really not. It's kind of... I don't want to say it's genius, but it's clever. I wasn't expecting it, that's for sure. That was a, that was a pretty fun little gimmick they had there. Oof. Choice Scarf Blastoise. I wonder, what, what kind of damage does that do? I mean, it, it okoed the Landris. It obviously would have okoed Infernape without the Sash, but... Then again, you know, a, a gentle breeze from, from like, a car going by would knock out Infernape without a sash. So what else could I have done there? Nothing, really. Really nothing. I guess the only thing I could have done there was predicted a quick guard. Pred if, I, if I had somehow predicted that it was Choice Scarf Blastoise, I could have, I guess, close combated into it first turn with Infernape and then after that uh, I guess it, it, it doesn't do that much and I can I don't know I, what do I what do I even do there I don't know that was crazy that was crazy okay so we got Argento from okay we got Metagross Dust Noir Ursaring Machamp Kangaskhan and Golem so right here a champ could have wide guard, which would be bad. Dust Mark could set up Trick Room, which would be bad. Um, if I get rid of if I get rid of Metagross, Moongus is kinda sweet here, actually. I can't I can't fake out the Dust Noir. So I'd pretty much have to bring a Moongus here. I mean it's good against the Golem anyways. It helps with Kangaskhan. I could go Infernape. I think I'll go Infernape, and then who else? Infernape Zapdos? No. Infernape Bisharp? Maybe? Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? It could go badly. Probably will. And then I'll bring Gardevoir. Um, yeah, this is a oh, weird matchup. I'm going to get wrecked by this. I'm absolutely going to get wrecked by this. It's going to happen. If he leads like Kangaskhan, Dustmoor, I have to hope it's not inner focus and I have to fake it out. Metagross Dustmoor. Okay. The thing is, I'm pretty sure Life Orb Bisharp will just destroy this Dustmoor. Frisk, Focus Sash, Life Orb. Okay. But what does he have that's going to take a knockoff? Nothing that I can see. Uh huh. And what? And what? And honestly, what's the Metagross gonna do to Bisharp, anyways? It could substitute, which would be bad. I think here I'll just I'm gonna make a safe play, and just do this because I don't see any disadvantage to this. Okay. Doesn't Mega Evolve. Maybe it's not Mega. That Dust Noir is having a bad day. Not having a good day. 
you're not taking a life orb. It was Lumberry. It wasn't even Mentor. It was Lumberry. So, not sure what was going on there. Really not. Uh, Earth's Ring. What does Earth's... What can... It's got a nerve. Ooh. Can Earth's Ring take a close combat? I don't know. Oh, that's not what I want. Okay, hold on. Uh, damage calc. I don't know anything about it at all. Do I have time to do this? I do. I got a little time. I'm thinking here. I know these things get like guts and facade and stuff. Fernape. Um, close combat. Not life orb. Oh, close combat destroys that thing. So we'll we'll, uh, we'll go for that. Why not? And we'll go ahead and knock off here, because apparently it's got an item that's not a Megastone. Okay. I'll, I'll, I might outspeed this thing, depending on its nature. It's Choice Bandit Explosion. It's Choice Bandit Explosion. The Metagross was Choice Banded Explosion. I don't know what to tell you there. I, I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing, eh? So this Toxic Orb on the Earth's Ring. Yeah, I'm still gonna just protect it, so I'm gonna close combat into that. And I got a Moongus in the back, so I'm not really worried about this um, Golem at all, honestly. Uh, knock off that. Yeah, he can't. Or it might be Quick Feet. That's not Quick Feet. So that gets absolutely decimated. And then this uh, Golem, I could have hit it with an Iron Head, but uh, if I did, actually that would activate a possible weakness policy, and that would not be good, because if it was going for like Rock Polish, you know, it could have done something. Like, plus two Earthquakes. It's not going to outspeed. Okay, it's still going for Double Edge. Why am I even... Why? Why am I even attempting to make sense of this? It's going for double edge. All right, well, here we go. Let's just go into Gardevoir and Hyper Voice stuff. Hyper Voice is fun. It's, uh, it's not sturdy. It's not Rockhead. It's, uh, it's a Sand Veil. Uh, Sandvale. Sandvale. Sandvale Golem. I think that's a hidden ability, too. So, he went out of his way to not... He went out of his way to have the worst possible ability for this thing. So, kudos to you, I guess. I don't, I don't know what to say. That was weird. So, we got wrecked that first game by weird nonsense. And absolutely ran through that team just now so that's gonna be it today guys for ladder if you like it feel free to like comment share subscribe all that fun stuff and hopefully i'll see you back for another episode of ladder up